So perform the indicated operation, with, which in this case is subtraction. And so we need common denominators before we can do that. So let's factor everything out of both of these two denominators to see what's missing from either one. All right. Uh, in this first denominator here, this t squared minus 25, that's a difference of two perfect squares. So I can split that up into t minus 5 and t plus 5. So that's our first denominator there. Of course, we do have that t in the numerator. And we're going to subtract this from 3, and we're going to factor out that t squared minus 3t minus 10. So 10 would split up, negative 10 rather, would split up into 2 and 2 and 5. <coughs> but since it's a negative 10, we're going to make the 5 negative so that when we add the 2, we would get the negative 3. So this becomes a t plus 2, because that's a positive 2, and a t minus 5. So looking at both of these, uh, the first term here on the left is missing a t plus 2. Just... Alright, so in the red there, we've got a t minus 5 and a t plus 5. This other term has a t minus 5, but it has this t plus 2, which is missing. So we're going to have to multiply this term over here by t plus 2. Now if this were an equation, we'd be looking for common denominators so that we could get rid of them all together. Uh, but this is just an expression, so we need to keep it. So I've got a t plus 2 also in the numerator. Here on the right... I've got this t minus 5, which we have one of those paired. We now have a t plus 2, but it's missing this t plus 5. So we're going to have to multiply it by t plus 5 as well, and the denominator as well as the numerator. So this gives us a whole new expression, and I can distribute the t into the parentheses. So that gives me t squared plus 2t. And then I would subtract this from distributing the 3 into the parentheses, would give me 3t. And this becomes a minus 15, because we were subtracting it. And I have a common denominator of t plus 2, t minus 5, and t plus 5. So right here, we're just looking to combine like terms. There's nothing to combine in the denominator, by the way. There were no other t squares to combine, but I can combine this 2t with this minus 3t, giving me a negative 1t, and then that minus 15 also had no other like terms. And yes, we don't really need the 1 there. So 15, we should look at that and see if we can factor this one out. 15 splits up into 1 and 15, that's no good. What about 3 and 5? That's close, but we can't get a negative 1 out of that. So this is our final answer, as it turns out.